Well, Queen City News is your local election headquarters. While state races are important to keep up with local political interest groups, right now political interest groups are making sure that you keep your eye on local races too, like the school board. South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakira Speak spoke to two interest groups about their recent endorsements of candidates for the Fort Mill School Board. We have noticed, you know, in other races that when when groups organize, um, they're able to to magnify the power of their vote. Um, and so we wanted to be able to do that, and particularly at this important time. Political interest groups like Fort Mill Liberal Resisterhood and York County Reaganites were formed to help those who needed a little guidance on who to vote for. They're particularly focusing on school board candidates, normally a nonpartisan race. Jeannie Halbert, an administrator for the FMLR Facebook page, says the group was formed after the 2016 election to give left-leaning neighbors in Fort Mill a place to share their perspectives and values. The group endorsed four candidates for Fort Mill School Board. She says while the group leans Democrat or liberal, they weren't looking for only liberal candidates. It was about finding candidates who we felt like would um, support all children in our schools and truly all children, even ones that don't fit perfectly into the Fort Mill student box. The York County Reaganites endorsed seven candidates for Fort Mill and Rock Hill School Board. Mark Herring says the organization was started decades ago after President Ronald Reagan concluded his presidency. They wanted to keep his same ideologies throughout the country. In terms of education, Herring says Reagan was responsible for Nation at Risk that pointed out the nation was suffering in K-12 education. Unfortunately, in 40 years, we have hardly moved the needle at all. And one of the reasons the Reaganites wanted to get involved in finding candidates who would endorse the idea of uh, learning and student learning outcomes, and that's what we were looking for when we started vetting the candidates. Herring says although school board is supposed to be nonpartisan, there are candidates who are running politically left and right. For the Reaganites, it was about choosing school board candidates that will increase students' literacy levels along with other subjects. We want them to, to work on getting teachers to be able to do what we hired them to do and also to um, move us back where we were a couple of decades ago in South Carolina. Reporting in York County, Shakir Speaks, Queen City News.